Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Genshin Impact playthrough session. We are in the Shrine of Suristana. I feel like this is a pretty appropriate spot, at least to start this video going into Nahida Story Quest. We're going to be starting Nahida Story Quest for today. Uh, we are a few days away from the version 3.3 going live. Little tiny bit of housekeeping before we jump into it. This is the team that I'm going to use. I just want to have Nahida on the team more than anything. But uh, at the top of all of this, very, very happy to say, that we finally got Layla to friendship level 10. This is one of my favorite name cards in the entire game. I love, love this design so much. Layla Daydreamer. The starry sky in your dreams will illuminate your way forward on the premise that the crystal in your heart reflects clear lights i actually like that description as well nice 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 and i'm definitely equipping that that is one of my that's one of the best looking name cards look at that look at that shit that looks so good holy fuck that's great i love that name card like this is my new favorite name card i don't give a damn definitely in my top 10 without a doubt all right so i do remember in the last session that i did you guys mentioned that unlocking nahida story quest will automatically trigger it if you're in sumeru so this is it let us begin. Nahida Story Quest. Oh, you weren't... Oh, wow. Hello, Traveler. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a moment of dreams? Damn, that was instantaneous. My God, a moment of dreams? It's the name of an event we started to hold regularly. Oh, okay. So again, this is post our conquest. Dreams have become quite the hot topic in Sumeru, and many people are excited to share the dreams they've seen at night. Oh, that's right, because we took down the Akasha. Everyone can dream again. Bring the Aranara back. Bring everybody back, dude. Dreams are where it's all happening. The same goes for me. The last time I dreamed was when I was but a little child. Uh, so I can't help but feel excited and nostalgic about dreaming again. Thank God, man. That's like the best thing that that's happened here. Like people can finally have their dreams again. We organized an event to give everyone everyone with new dreams a platform to freely share their experiences that's cool so they get to share their dreams and thus our event a moment of dreams was born. oh i see so it's kind of like a fireside chat you could say that mm -hmm. we hear all sorts of wild and fabulous stories every day <laughs> really why not have a listen for yourselves i can understand your curiosity yeah but to us dreaming is as normal as breathing yeah but i mean you have to also put yourself in their shoes like imagine just sleeping and just ha like fading away into a black void until you wake up like nothing like you don't wake up thinking about oh my gosh i wonder like i had a dream a couple days ago where i had like some friends in my dream and i was like oh my gosh that's so cool like i i haven't seen them in forever but i just had a dream with them wait but if there are free drinks and snacks involved then paima might consider it so you mean you've already seen many dreams Mm. But no need to get so excited. It's really nothing special. Damn, Paimon. No, no, no. We need experienced participants like you to share your experiences with dreaming. Please allow me to address you two as dream experts. Oh, boy. <laughs> there are just some things Hello, that again. expert just doesn't seem to go with. Oh, expert? <laughs> Paimon kind of likes it. Now you seem interested. <laughs> Please, follow me to the meeting place. It won't take much of your time. Rest assured, you'll find all the drinks and snacks you'd like there. Wow! Okay. How accommodating! <laughs> Sign us up! Uh, but wait, uh, Paimon's getting ahead of herself again. We should see what the Traveler thinks first. Oh my god, Paimon? Giving me some agency? Uh, why aren't you saying anything? You're... You're, you're kidding, right? They're capping, right? <laughs> You're the boss? I don't think I... I don't think I really have a choice in the matter. <laughs> Very good. Follow me, then. It's like that meme. She's like, look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> Here we go. Lingering warmth. Do you know what's the most important part of being an expert? Everyone comes to you. Well, I suppose it must be accumulating knowledge and sharing your experiences. Nope. It's all about the title. So now dream expert okay oh okay you done goofed sir all right dream of awaking follow pedrush to a moment of dreams one day you and paimon noticed that many people in sumeru are talking about dreams sorry to interrupt everyone we finally have some real dream experts joining us esteemed experts this way please <clears throat> now if anyone has any questions 
Please feel free to ask them. They must be dream experts from another land. Great! Yep. Oh, I have a question. Me first! Me first! No rush! Everyone, please line up and ask in an orderly fashion! Like, why do I wake up in a cold sweat at night? It's like, that's a nightmare, sir. Wow. Paimon didn't expect them to be so enthusiastic. My question is simple. My everyday life is very difficult, so I would like to become a slime in my dreams. How can I do that? <laughs> okay. Uh, sir? I don't think it works that way. <laughs> Also, that's Prozy D. Yo, they, they literally just like whole ass hired this man to voice NPCs in Genshin. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever been anything but myself in a dream in my entire life ever. <laughs> Someone in chat says, one time I was a piece of bread. Yo, let's get this bread. <laughs> Honestly, I don't have a good tip. Oh, Hyman knows. Hyman's had this kind of dream before, so <laughs> she knows a thing or two. I love how they gave her the title expert under her name. God damn it. The first time, Paimon became an animal slime. Paimon was shot by an adventurer's arrow and flew in the sky all night long. The second time, Paimon became a dendro slime. A group of kids thought Paimon was a radish and pulled out all the grass on her head. <laughs> oh, it was super painful. Damn. The third time, Paimon became a cryo slime. In the end, Paimon was captured by a chef and turned into a smoothie. Yo, Shangling, is that you? And the fourth time, Paimon became a powerful geo slime and went to take revenge on the forest boy that used to bully Paimon. <laughs> Yo, Paimon, you good? <laughs> what are these dreams, bro? But then the boar showed up with all of its relatives and Paimon lost again. <laughs> Wait, why did all of your dreams end so tragically? <laughs> are monsters, even though they look cute, they usually cause trouble and end up getting killed by adventurers. Oh, oh, okay. Things don't tend to end well for monsters. Believe Paimon. Chat, this isn't foreshadowing, is it? Is Paimon gonna be a monster by the end of the game and we're gonna have to kill her? Because apparently things don't tend to end well for monsters and in every dream Paimon was a monster? Please don't tell me that's what they're doing right now. There's a little too on the nose there, Hoyoverse. At least she's grasped the standard tropes of adventurer stories. I just want to experience a different life, but it seems that becoming a monster would be even worse than my current life. Maybe I'd be happier if I became just a regular finch or fish. <laughs> a fish though? Be a bird. Looks like being an expert is way easier than Paimon imagined. Next! Oh, it's my turn. Esteemed expert, I want to know what posture I should sleep in so I can have the same dream as the one I had last night. I don't think that can happen, buddy. Uh, well? Yes, please enlighten us, esteemed expert. Hey, you're supposed to be helping. First, why don't you tell Paimon about the dream you want to have again? This music. It's everywhere now. <laughs> I love it, but at the same time, why? Oh, it's quite ordinary. I sat and chatted with my wife on a sunny day, Aww. listening to the breeze blowing through the valley. That's so wholesome. Is his wife like gone or something? Why don't you just find your wife and talk with her? There's no need to wait for a dream. What if she's not alive, Paimon? Well, uh, unfortunately, she passed away. That's so sad. Oh, uh, sorry. Paimon shouldn't have assumed anything. No, it's fine. I didn't make that clear. I just want a chance to see her again. Have you tried looking at her photos right before you fall asleep? Yeah, it's not really about posture. What you think about yes. right before falling asleep is probably way more important. So I remember in high school, my psychology teacher talked about that. And he basically asked the class, he's like, what do you think one of the best ways is to have a reoccurring dream? And he said one of them is to try to think about the dream before you go to sleep. Oh, is that all I have to do? Think it. If you're the one thinking about her, and you're the one that'll be dreaming about her, then it'll be easier to connect your thoughts and dreams. You do have a point. I'll give it a try tonight. Nice. Thanks for your wise advice. Oh, my turn, my turn. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to know the name of the plant in my dream. How am I, ma'am, how am I supposed to tell you that? I want to bring the souvenir box to my room into my dream. Uh, okay. I dreamt of a raven flying over the wasteland last night. Does that have any kind of special meaning? <laughs> Death! <laughs> hey, no rush! One at a time! Oh my god, they're like running up on us. Chill. Their questions were way too difficult. They don't have 
actually know anything more than they do. We're just more experienced dreamers, that's all. They didn't really care about the answers. Vivid dreams are just really exciting to them. You do have a point. It's more rewarding to explore and contemplate the meaning of a question than to focus on the answer itself. Right now, these people are like wanderers who've starved for three days and three <laughs> nights and are desperate to replenish their energy. Wanderer, Any you say? The explanation they get now is like pure sustenance to them. No matter how the explanation really is. Yeah, you can bullshit your way through anything. They'll be like, thank you. I, that's exactly what I needed. And now that Paimon has said that, you know who comes to mind? Uh, Nahida, of course. Bingo! If she was here, she'd probably be making some similar analogy. She's probably right behind you or something. Unfortunately, no. she's super busy right now and may not have time for gatherings like this. Let's go see her. Dear experts, we have another guest who would like to consult you. Oh? Uh, but you how we answered all the questions just now? We're not really all that knowledgeable. Ah, but this guest is rather special. All right, it's either Nahida or it's Catherine. Oh, let's go! My question is, why didn't you immediately tell me about <laughs> such an interesting place? Yeah, Paimon, the expert, you fucked it up. <laughs> let's go, look at her. Oh, I love her so much. Huh? Nahida, how did you get here? God, it's so cool. She's like amongst her people. Interesting events like a moment of dreams don't happen every day after all. No matter how busy things are, I'd still set aside some time to check it out. Let's go. Anyway, I really didn't expect to meet you here. Oh, right. If there's anyone that understands <laughs> dreams, it's you. You uh, should be able to help us answer all these questions. I get like so happy whenever I see Nahida. Like she's literally just like a source of good, positive, like happy energy. You're not wrong. All right, they can ask me anything. The more interesting, the better. Your God has spoken. Please, people, I shall bestow upon you divine wisdom. Come on now. What the hell? What are y'all intimidated? Huh? What's wrong? You were all so excited a minute ago. Oh no. Why the sudden hesitation? I think they need to build up some courage first. Even so, it's not like I look super intimidating or anything. <laughs> I know, right? she's like, I'm a child. I'm a I look like a child, damn it. And in terms of reputation and renown, you've also done many great things in Sumeru. Hmm. Yet they didn't even flinch at you. I guess that's true. You are a god after all. Still, not quite the same as approaching the Archon. Alas, the interesting questions have all vanished in an instant. It appears I'm the one spoiling the fun here. No! I'll see myself out. No! What the hell? You can't do that. You can't just bring this ray of sunshine into this quest and then be like, I guess I'll leave. I guess no one wants to be around me. That's not true, Nahida. I don't want to get in the way of the original purpose of a moment of dreams, which is to let people gather here and freely share their marvelous dreams. Come on, people. Make her feel welcome. Now the atmosphere here is like water poured into a container. The water is more secure and settled, but it has lost its free-flowing nature from the river. Oh, that's a good analogy. Yo, Nahida's got those fire analogies. What the hell? I just want it to be another drop in the water, not the cold and restrictive container. She doing what I think she is? She's not guilt-tripping them, is she? She's sulking. Oh, okay. It's all right, everyone. No need to be shy. The Dendro Archon is really nice, so please just go ahead and ask. Otherwise, she'll leave. Uh, all right. I'll give it a try. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's the slime guy. Okay. Uh, I love how they bow to her. Hey, drop the nicknames, would you? Besides, <laughs> I don't want to become a slime anymore. I see. So you want to become a small animal in your dreams, right? Why do you think that sounds good to you? I guess I just want to experience something different. My everyday life is nothing but the same. The sky is right above me and the ocean just over the horizon, yet I remain caged in a life of monotony. Caged? She knows about that. So you want to experience something new in your dreams. Sorry, 
I'm getting a little confused. Why don't you seek out some new experiences in real life? I don't know, maybe he's too busy. Because if I don't work, I won't have any Mora. Yeah. Sure, I don't want to be out hammering nails and cutting wood every day, but I have aging parents and young children to take care of. Yeah, responsibilities. By the time this all dawned on me, I realized that my life has already been filled to the brim by trifling matters, and I have no more freedom. But if that's the case, then even if you became a flying bird or swimming fish, <laughs> you will still be hammering nails and cutting wood in your dreams. The reason <laughs> is you've already been caged. It doesn't matter what your physical body turns into. Your mind will still be stuck in the same predicament. You gotta change your mindset. Really? That sounds pretty terrible. Then what should I do? I don't know everything that you're going through, but how about replacing your hammer? Huh? Hmm? Replacing my hammer? That's right. Having worked for such a long time, you of all people must know what makes a good hammer. Well, of course. A good hammer needs to be heavy enough to drive the nail in with just a couple taps. Mm. And the handle has to have a good grip to it, not too smooth. Come to think of it, I haven't replaced my <laughs> current hammer in quite some time. You should replace it. Then decorate the handle with something you like. Mm. Maybe some ornaments, fur, or hard leather wrapping. Then write the names of your children on it. Ah, She's like, hey, you don't have to change your entire life. You just have to change how you're doing things. That makes sense. Hmm. I think it'd give me a good boost of energy at work. A new sense of adventure often begins with the little things in life. True. You don't need to become a bird in the air or a fish <laughs> in the sea. You only need to do your best in life. Mm. And all those things you cherish will become your source of happiness. There you go. Wow. What a wise... I know that's ironic to say, but what a wise Archon. <laughs> yes. Yes, I get it now. This is a real eye-opener for me. She's getting there, dude. One day at a time. I'll go and pick out a new hammer right away. No, I should make one of my own. Thank you, Great Dendro Archon. There you go. That's our Nahida. Only you would know how to get right to the heart of the problem. Actually, I didn't really understand the problem. Huh? Nani? I gave him that advice because I once saw a worker doing the same thing. Ooh. Whenever he became tired, he would look at some names on the handle of his tool. Hey, that's actually even better. That's drawn from real life experience. After a moment, he'd start to smile. It really surprised me at the time. My guess is that the names on the handle were of important people to him. I think I understand. You were drawing from a similar example. Mm-hmm. After observation, I know this kind of behavior motivates people, but why is that? Is it because of excitement, anticipation, or helplessness? I really don't know. And even if I could know what's going through his mind, it's still difficult to fully grasp his feelings. Mm. Paimon had no idea it takes you so much effort to understand these kinds of things. <laughs> That's why I was a bit nervous just now. <laughs> but luckily, seeing his happy face in the end reassured me that I didn't say anything wrong. Don't mind me, though. This is just my way of learning. Hmm. Hey, I think it's a great way. You're doing a good job. I'm happy to help if you ever need it. Hey, don't forget about Paimon. Uh at reading people's I'm like <laughs> I'm like, Nahida, please save me. Paimon's not doing so hot. Thanks, you too. That makes me feel a lot better. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? Nice. I already asked the experts my question earlier, but I wanted to hear the Dendro Archon's response too. Oh, his wife. What should I do if I want to see my deceased wife in my dreams every night? I think the answer to that is going to be obvious, which is like, you have to let go of that. You have to live. She's dead. And like for him to grasp that, he'll never move on. It's almost kind of uh, serendipitous too, to like how Nahida had to forget Ruka Devada and let her truly pass in order to move on. Hmm. Longing for the deceased. Hmm. Is she remembering something about greater Lord Ruka Devada? No, she shouldn't be able to remember anymore. Yeah, see? She doesn't even remember, but it's it's deep down in there, I believe. Even if you keep reliving those beautiful memories, it will only highlight the emptiness in your real life. Exactly, which is why we had to forget Ruka Devada. If your wife were still alive, she certainly wouldn't want to see you like this, would she? No, I suppose not. But our time together in my dreams is not just reliving our past together. Probably reliving things that they never got a chance to do. Maybe it's because I miss her too much. 
but it's really as if she had come back to life in my dreams. She even remembers each and every dream. After I wake up um? and then continue dreaming again later, we can pick up our conversation right where we last left off. Oh, that's interesting. That's really amazing. Statistically speaking, continuous dreams are extremely rare. It's almost as if my wife has obtained a second life in my dreams. But the more vivid she appears, mm. the emptier I feel and the more painful it is when I wake up. I don't know whether to call it a blessing or a curse. Definitely a curse, my dude. Maybe all of this is rooted in your deep longing for her. Were there any unresolved matters or regrets between the two of you? I don't know. I suppose my biggest regret is that I couldn't spend the rest of my life with her. That's understandable. I really felt like I was ready to move on. I wouldn't be so hesitant now if it weren't for these hyper-realistic dreams I've been having. I was gonna say, like, is this normal? He's having, like, hyper-realistic dreams? Huh. You know, they say that whatever's on your mind is what goes into your dreams. But dreams are, and will forever be, just dreams. We are people living in the real world. Exactly. It's not good to be overly obsessed with dreams. All it'll do is fill up your mind and eat away at your thoughts. Yes, I know. That's why I'm also a little disappointed in myself. I still need to take care of our child. And it's probably not good to let her see me in such a state. Okay, well, I didn't know he had a kid, but like, yeah, adding that in, yeah, you definitely gotta be there for them. Anyway, thanks for your advice, Great Dendro Archon. I feel so bad. Like, everyone else is like, yo, how can I do some crazy shit in my dream? This guy's Ooh. like... I'm a little worried about him. You know? I hope he can find a way to cheer up soon. Yeah, that's like some real depressing shit. I think I can handle things from here. You don't need to stay here if you find it boring. Oh, no, You're I like You're here to this. have a good time after all. Okay, Nahida. I'll be here if you need me. Another recurring dream? Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if it's some kind of hint. Oh. Uh, are these recurring dreams potentially a side effect of being hooked up to the Akasha or having their dreams siphoned or something like that? I didn't expect the Dendro Archon to attend this event in person. It's like a dream. <laughs> Should I continue expanding the scale of this event? Wow, it's really the Dendro Archon. Damn straight. What a lucky day. Just wait till my friends hear about this. I wish my dreams could be a little more practical, you know? Maybe something like becoming rich and famous overnight. <laughs> and then waking up and realizing that you're still broke. Or maybe a more exciting love life. Uh, nah, who am I kidding? Aw, come on, sir. You can do it. The Dendro Archon made a really good point. Are you feeling any better now? Yes, I think the Dendro Archon made a really good point. I need to stop dwelling on my wife like this and move on with my life. I don't know. I hope I hope you mean that. Now that I think about it, my wife and I always meet at a familiar place in my dreams. Oh? I know where that place exists in reality, but it's a bit far mm. and dangerous. I don't dare to go there on my own. But at the same time, I feel as if I should go and have a look anyway. What the hell? Perhaps I'll be able to move on once I see that there's nothing there. Sounds like a good plan. That doesn't sound like a good plan. This man just said it's dangerous. Otherwise, I'll keep on feeling like everything is covered in a haze. Like I'm only half awake. Oh, dear. Once I can stop dreaming about that place, I'll probably be able to get my life back together. Yeah, I wonder if this has to do with the Akasha somehow. Because these people were hooked up to it for years, I, I assume. Actually, you two are adventurers, right? If it's okay with you... Could you escort me to that place? Okay, that's a little better. Yeah, sure, we'll have a look. Yeah, that might also be a good chance for us to unwind. Even if you can't see your wife there, taking in some nice scenery will definitely help cheer you up. I hope so too. All right, go ahead and get yourself ready then. Speaking of longing for the deceased, I'd better tell Nahida about greater... Why would you do that? Why would you tempt fate like that, Aether? What what makes you think telling her, A, will she remember, and B, <laughs> I, I thought the whole point of forgetting her was because we had to save the world. Nahida should at least know that she once existed in this world. What are you doing, Aether? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> are you headed off to some interesting place without telling me again? Uh, no. I have no idea what you're talking about. Huh? Wait. Aren't you supposed to be answering questions? She's like, I already did. I just finished, and I really got a lot out of 
of it. Damn. So many interesting and novel thoughts. She's like, I'm built different. I'm actually, sm I'm getting smarter with every second. Anyway, it looks like you're going somewhere. Why don't you take me with you? Oh, there's no need to trouble you, Great Dendro Archon. I imagine you must have many other important things to deal with. No need to stand on ceremony. Besides, I wouldn't have asked to come along if I didn't have a good reason. I wanted to use this opportunity to discuss with you some things that are puzzling me right now. <laughs> like, I, I have this weird memory of something that I should be remembering, but I can't. Huh. I didn't know the great Dendro Archon could become puzzled, too. <laughs> I'm not all that different from you, you know. All right, let's go. I'd better go with her. The whole Greater Lord Ruka Nevada thing will take some explaining. But why are you talking about it? I don't know if we should be doing that. I don't know if that's a good idea. That's like, that's forbidden knowledge at this point. Wait, would that technically be considered forbidden knowledge? If something that used to be common knowledge in the world is removed from the world, but normally no one should remember it, but Aether remembers it. And if Aether then distributes that knowledge, isn't that technically, wouldn't that technically be considered forbidden? Because it's no longer of this world. I feel like that's gonna cause some problems. Oh. So this is where you always meet your wife in your dreams? Yes. But for the most part, our place is on the summit, just up ahead. Okay. When I saw her in my dreams, we didn't do anything but talk about ordinary, mundane topics. I'd tell her about our daughter, Hydar, and she always listened intently. She would also reminisce about the past with me, telling me interesting stories and cracking jokes. It feels like no matter how long we may chat, it's never enough. Sometimes, it's the little things in life that matter the most. True. This is the part I'm a little puzzled about. Oh. I am very familiar with dreams, and normally, they lack logic and continuity. What the hell is happening? Why are we ups- Why are we upside down? Yo, Tavat's upside down, chat? <laughs> is my theory actually true? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening? But you said she could remember what you had told her before, right? Why is this upside down? That's right. She always listened to me carefully in real life, <laughs> and now- She's doing the same in my dreams. Is that supposed to mean something? She always surprises me with some details from our lives in the real world. The fact that she can remember such things makes me feel like she's alive. Mm. Whoa. That's pretty weird. Okay. Well, dreams are kind of weird to begin with. All right, something fishy's going on here. Is he actually having a dream or is his consciousness being sent somewhere? I remember in the Subzeru's like Samsara, they mentioned that like they were these spaces. I don't know if that's what they refer, if this is like a callback to that, but like it, it feels like he's not having a dream. He might actually be somewhere. However, the problem is that his dreams have too much structure and continuity. Yeah. Most dreams are far more fragile than you can imagine. For example, a loud noise outside your window in the real world yep. could cause your dream self to get loaded into and fired out of a big cannon. Another example, if you're thirsty in the real world, then you might find yourself trudging through a <laughs> desert in your dream. There have been times in my dream where I'm underwater and I swear to God, I stop breathing in the real world and I wake up because I can't breathe. And so that's happened to me a couple of times where I like wake up like out of breath. But the appearance of your wife seems unusually stable and unaffected by any outside interference. Statistically, this mm. should be extremely rare. Interesting. I don't understand it either, but I have no reason to suspect or reject these dreams. They're too beautiful. I agree. It doesn't really feel like a cause for concern. No, I disagree wholeheartedly. But I still want to figure out the how and the why. Yeah. These kind of dreams are novel to me as well. That's why I want to have a look at the scene your dreams have been taking place at. <laughs> it's a fucking withering zone. I guarantee it. Let's go. Just think of it as a nice little hike to the top of the mountain. Yeah, th I think there used to be a withering zone up there originally, so... He's like, oh yeah, that's weird. The real world equivalent of our dream is a fucking withering zone. That's... That's not ominous at all. I do like the premise of this, though. There's a lot of, like, mystique around what exactly is happening to this guy. If he's having dreams, if there's something more nefarious going on. If this could be the aftermath of, uh, you know, the dream harvesting from the Akasha. Because these people are dreaming again for the first time, so. All right, we reached the top. Well, oh. he really wasn't kidding. Whoa! This place definitely isn't safe. Okay, so there's some hilly trolls here. No matter. We'll just finish them quickly. 
Huh? Are you going to fight Tunahita? Of course. This is all part <laughs> of our little trip. Yo, let's go. Nahida actually putting in work. What's up, nerds? Illusion shattered. Uh -huh. No, my sword. Sheesh. I've yet to see anything strange about this place. I do not plan to deny the power of longing. Hmm. Such an intense but unquantifiable emotion could indeed have the power to organize dreams. But the way he's describing it, it's like he's in the real world with her. His wife must be a really amazing person. <laughs> Imagine his wife with Senora. <laughs> She's like the only woman I know in recent times that's died, so... <laughs> Oh, man. How did you figure it out, JK, JK? <laughs> huh? Wait, where'd he go? Oh, no. Sir, please don't do this. Oh, so you are waiting for me here? Well, guess what? I've brought someone amazing with me today. Oh, no. Uh... <laughs> is this man delusional? <laughs> Wait, is he? He's not sleepwalking here, is he? When the Dendro Archon said she wanted to come with me, I could hardly believe it. I'll bring Hydar once I'm more familiar with the way here. Oh my god. She's been telling me that she really misses you. Huh? What's wrong with him? Holy shit, this is... this is, uh, a lot worse than I thought. There's nobody there! <sighs> Wait, Minar. Okay. Don't go that way. It's dangerous. Alright, so it wasn't Senora. Obvious joke, but... Uh-oh, he's gonna fall! Oh! Catch him! Oh my god, sir! Jesus Christ, this man's about to freaking... <sighs> he doesn't even know what he's doing. Luckily, he didn't fall. But what was all that rambling about? He also looks like he's passed out. What happened to this man? He's in the dream now. What he said just now matches almost perfectly with the dreams he subscribed to us earlier. Oh, so he fell asleep and started to have the same dream? I find it a little strange as well, but we mustn't awaken someone while they're sleepwalking. Yeah. All we can do is sit here and wait. <sighs> Holy shit, that was scary. Huh? Minar. Where's Minar? Sir, this is the real world. <sighs> what happened? You were sleepwalking. Huh? Sleepwalking? Oh, right. It was all just a dream. The moment I reached the summit, I saw my wife, Minar, sitting there and walked over to her. After I introduced her to you, she seemed a little flustered and started walking away. Uh huh. I told her to stop because of the cliff, and then she seemed to suddenly disappear. A strong wind started to blow around me and the sky grew dark. Jesus. When I realized something wasn't right, I woke up. Maybe you were just too tired. I don't think so. I slept a lot yesterday, and I don't feel very sleepy now. Maybe we've affected the way his subconscious constructs dreams by following him here. Hmm. Anyway, all that matters is that you woke up safe and sound. There is something going on here. I think I know what happened now. I'm sorry. If it weren't for you, I would have fallen. Let's head back now. Don't come back to this place again for the time being. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love how this guy was like, yeah, I'm not tired. Look at the bags under this guy's eyes. Nahida. What's on your mind? Paimon's a little worried now. We still don't have enough evidence to work off of, so it's hard to draw any reliable conclusions mm. yet. But I'm concerned that Ilmon's case may not be unique to him. Oh, this has to be connected somehow. Oh, right! Come to think of it, there were lots of people from the event who had vivid memories of their dreams. Maybe this phenomenon is already spreading? Right, and not only at a moment of dreams, oh, man. there may be people like this all across Sumeru. Yeah, this could be a re this could be a result of the dream harvesting or the Akasha long-term effects. We need to understand what's happening and the rate of its development as soon as possible. Then there's no time to lose. Let's head back. Stop standing there, Ilman. Let's go. <laughs> Damn, Paima. Did you not see what this man just went through? Chill out. Like, can you let this man catch his catch his breath? Oh, you're back already. How'd it go? We have an emergency on our hands. Please notify everyone here that while they can continue to discuss their dreams, they mustn't try to visit or recreate the locations and scenes that they have been experiencing in them. What? Mm. Uh, all right. If that's the wish of the great Dendro Archon. Hell yeah. But 
Could you at least tell me what happened? You all look so serious. Also, Ilmin isn't with us, so I feel like he didn't come back. I see. I never knew even a dream could be so dangerous. Don't worry. I'll be sure to notify all the event participants and inform the other staff members about what has happened. Using the event registration list, I should be able to contact more people that were interested in dreams and warn them about the situation. Thank you. That would be very helpful. Let me confirm if all of today's participants are still here. And no, I'm glad you're realizing now that he's missing. Atta has already left. It seemed that he was on his way to make a hammer, so that shouldn't be a problem. Oh? Wait a second. Oh no, the girl. Where's Katya? Okay, never mind. He's right there. Has anyone seen Katya? Has she already left? Oh, I, I think she already left. She said there was somewhere she wanted to go. Can you tell us where she went? She did briefly mention it. Somewhere near Chatracom Cave. All right, thank you. We'll go look for her. Please help us tell the others not to do anything reckless. Sure thing. Who would have known things would have turned out like this? Dream of falling. Oh dear. I see everything. Why am I so sleepy? Not again, chat. Not again. Why are they sleep? Why are you sleepy, ma'am? I thought y'all were getting sleep. <laughs> Bro, the last time someone said that they're sleepy were people that were supposed. Dude, am I do I hear beeping in my ear? What's going on? Are we in another samsara? What is happening? What happened? I need to ask someone and find out. Jesus. So some people are having pretty realistic dreams. Uh huh. Good deal. What are they so worried about? Damn. The foreshadowing. I don't. It's just sleepwalking. They're really overreacting. Yeah, tell that to Layla. Oh, wait a minute. That might be why they might be they might be sleeping, but they're sleepwalking, which is why Layla's always tired. Cause like even though she's sleeping, her body's constantly active, so she's not getting proper rest. Like her body isn't resting. <laughs> getting really sleepy wait a minute wait did layla low-key just like spoil this story quest what's all the sudden commotion about it's just a dream how bad could it be these fools none of them know what's about to happen oh boy look she's sitting over there and surrounded by monsters come on let's rescue her oh hold up i just realized i have a trial nahida all right let me guess noblest oblige of course, dude. Of course. Y'all never cease to amaze me, Hoyoverse. C3, okay. Now you shall perish. Bop. All right, back up. She seems to be in the same condition as Ilman earlier. Yes, but luckily she hasn't been injured or jolted awake yet. Let's carefully move her somewhere safer. See you tomorrow, Professor Aisha. Uh, what? <sighs> huh? What? Why am I back here again? Professor Aisha, you were dreaming just now. Dreaming? But what about Professor Aisha? Uh, who is that, ma'am? Oh, I see. It was all just a dream. Well, hmm. that makes sense. After all, it hasn't changed a single bit. What, the potted plant? What's it? Nearly 20 years, and it still hasn't bloomed. <sighs> <laughs> Does it have something to do with your dream? Please, tell us what you mean. So... Professor Aisha gave me this plant just before she left. She was a good friend of my parents and my first real tutor. Mm. She was also an outstanding Amorta researcher. Okay. In addition to her extraordinary academic talents, Biology. she was also skilled in combat and would accept lots of work from the Adventurers Guild. So you mean she's left on an adventure? Yes. When I was about 10 years old, she told me that she must go look for the secrets of the Abyss. And that she would be gone for a uh, long time. Oh no! <laughs> what the fuck? Is, what? They're talking about the abyss in this quest? What is happening, dude? Why is a biology major going to look for the abyss? What the fuck? I grabbed hold of her and wouldn't let go. I didn't know what the abyss was. I just knew that she was like family to me. Oh my god. She hugged me, and we cried for some time until I fell asleep. When I woke up, I was already back home. She still decided to leave. Uh-oh. But had left behind a letter for me saying that I was the person she cared for most in this world. She claimed that 
Investigating the Abyss could help more ordinary people protect the people and things they care about. She had obtained some important evidence during her past adventures. If she didn't set off right away, she might miss the perfect opportunity. She said 20 years ago and it still hasn't grown. Guess Ad Astra Abyssosk <laughs> isn't just a slogan. Finally, Paimon, you're catching on to the plot to the stars and the abyss. Exactly. We haven't been to the stars. Well, the stars are a lie and the abyss is kind of sus. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty important. She left a seed in the letter telling me that if it sprouted and bloomed, then she'd come back no matter what sort of risky situation she was in. Oh. She said she looked forward to seeing me all grown up, but strangely... I've tried watering it, feeding it, mm -hmm. everything I could think of, but I've never been able to get it to bloom. I even went to ask the Immorta researchers, and they couldn't explain it either. May I have a look at the plant? Of course. Mm -hmm. I was hoping the great Dendro Archon could help me solve this problem. Yeah, the plant Archon over here. If anyone can make it grow, it's probably her. Let me see. Hmm. Uh-oh. Wait, could it be? She looks a little unwell. Um, hold on. We'll be right back. What is happening? Okay. Nani? What's wrong, Nita? You can't tell what's wrong with the plant either? No, I immediately understood what's happening with that plant. I'm just not sure if I should say it. Why? Why would that be? This plant is not known to the academic world. It's a new species that her teacher managed to cultivate by some special means. <laughs> It's like an abyssal plant? Judging by its features, I can tell from the moment it sprouted, it'll never be able to bloom. Exactly. She jabated you. It can't be. It means that this Professor Aisha she keeps mentioning might have foreseen the danger and was prepared to never return. Mm. From my experience observing people, she would undoubtedly regard this as a brutal revelation. When forced to confront such brutal truths, People may break down into tears, talk nonsense, or lose their tempers. I know she has to face the truth, but at the same time, I don't want to hurt her. Mm. Tell me, what should I do? Yeah, that's a tricky one. Seems like you've already got a good idea of the feelings she might experience. I'll take that burden, Nahida. I'll tell her. But wouldn't that mean I'm just pushing it all on you? What if she just gets angry at you instead? It's better than getting angry at you. It's all right. There are all kinds of people, and the examples you observed are just the most extreme cases. I've seen many situations like this before. There's always a way to work through it. Uh, uh, okay, thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go back and tell her. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, it's a transition. All right. I like these little scenic transition moments. Good on you, Hoyoverse. <gasps> It'll never bloom? But how is that possible? If a plant is unable to bloom, doesn't that mean it can't reproduce either? All that's left for it to do is slowly wither away. It seems like that may be exactly what your teacher intended. She meant to convey a message through the plant's true nature. Are you saying she never intended to return? Yep. Seriously? So everything she said was a lie? But she meant well. Since the separation was inevitable, she hoped that you would be able to come to grips with such a cruel parting a little later in life. Mm, she really cared about you. I guess she had hoped that you could understand and respect her choice after learning the truth. I see. Sorry, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but it's just... Yeah? Just so much to take in. That's understandable. The dreams are so beautiful, yet reality is heartlessly cold. I really thought she had come back. I had so much to tell her. I understand your grief. We'll try to investigate these dreams. These dreams may not be as pure and beautiful as they seem. Exactly. Some kind of power may be exploiting your feelings. Yeah, like these dreams are giving these people the things they want most and are like pushing these people into like dreamlike states in reality. I don't know if it's abyssal now because now the abyss are being brought up too. Really? Yes. So with that in mind, until our investigation is completed, please return to the event and ignore any further temptations from your dreams. I see. Thank you for rescuing me, and sorry for the trouble. Good job. Luckily, the plant didn't get hurt either. Otherwise, <laughs> I wouldn't have anything left to remember her by. Aww. Thanks, Traveler and Paimon. She seems to have finally accepted the truth, but I think she'll still need a long time to come to terms with her feelings. 
I saw her waver the moment you mentioned love. Aww. It was almost like a gentle rain, arriving just in time to put out a fire that was about to spread. It's because people have something called empathy. <laughs> empathy? Hmm, I see. Mm. This is valuable knowledge indeed. By the way, you said there may be something that's trying to exploit their feelings. Any idea what that might be? Yes. What's common between Ilmon and Katya's cases mm -hmm. is that they've both lost someone dear to them. Exactly. And now, they get to meet the people they cherish in their dreams again. And the people feel more real than anything a regular dream could hope to create. Instead of interpreting it as a result of their longing, I have to consider a more antagonistic explanation. Yeah. Someone is taking advantage of their longing. But for what reason? Yeah, what's the motive? Yeah. They're just causing these people to dream. What are they after? Yeah, I can't... I, I don't really know. This is exactly what we need to investigate. Anyway, let's pay another visit to a moment of dreams. I have a bad feeling about all this. Hmm. I hope things haven't gotten any worse. Damn. I was thinking, like, maybe these are, like, remnants of some, like, academia sages or something that are, like... I don't know. If these people are still able to have these recurring dreams, maybe they can be harvested and salvaged in a way, but the Akasha is gone and the Gnosis is gone. So I, I just don't know what else that would leave us with. Yeah, I was thinking of like a second Akasha or something like that. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, okay. These people are just taking a big old nap. We're back. How's everything here? Uh-oh. I am so sorry, Great Dendro Archon. We're still trying to figure out how to explain the whole thing to everyone. Because of your warning, we've brought dreamers here even if they were completely unaware of the danger. But some of them have already fallen asleep, and they haven't woken up for a long time. I fear there's nothing we can do about it. A moment of dreams is just a small interest group. We don't have enough staff members to handle this. Just as I expected. Mm. It seems my guess was correct. It's the Dendro Archon. She's back. Uh, what happened? What, why have we been gathered here? Many of you here have been experiencing some beautiful dreams. However... But I'm sorry to tell you that based on our investigation, there's some kind of conspiracy behind them. Before we learn the truth, please don't try to recreate the scenes in your dreams. Whatever you see, don't be tempted by them. Huh? Mm. But... I don't think it's a big deal. <laughs> Aren't we just dreaming? It's not like dreams will have an effect on others. You don't know that! We've already met two people who ran off to the countryside alone and got caught in dangerous situations by falling to the temptations in their dreams. All right, I get it, I get it. So does that mean once we have some conclusive results from the investigation, we can continue to enjoy these dreams? Yeah, I still want to visit my sister in my dreams. It will depend on the result of our investigation. Uh-oh. I'm sorry if what I'm about to say sounds a little offensive, Great Dendro Archon, but... Uh, we don't give a shit. We had a discussion with the folks who just arrived here. In all of our dreams, you were able to reunite with people who are very close to us. Exactly! And y'all are so easily fooled! They all seemed as if they were alive again, which makes us reluctant to wake up. Yes, that's also what we've observed in our investigation. So if the results of this investigation would mean an end to those dreams, that'd be quite cruel to us. All of us understand the danger, but perhaps you can't quite understand just how much those people mean to us. This fucking guy. She just had to forget a part of herself that she can't even remember. She's made the ultimate sacrifice and this guy's talking shit. I don't think everyone will be on board with the plan to abandon these dreams for good. Before the conclusion of the investigation, they'll at least want to meet the people in their dreams one last time and say goodbye. <laughs> this guy's like, bro, I just want to go to the golden slumber. We've never had such a difficult situation before. It appears that not many people are willing to cooperate. So they still want to return to their dreams despite knowing the danger? It's hard to clearly say who's right and who's wrong here. Everyone has their own perspective. That's right. Compared with these sweet and beautiful dreams, our warnings of danger are dull and emotionless. Yeah. It looks like the situation will inevitably spiral out of control. The hearts of men are easily swayed, ladies and gentlemen. The more time we waste, the more people will ignore our warnings and return to their alluring dreams. So... What should we do? Seems we have to go into a dream and find out the truth for ourselves. Oh, shit. Pedrush, is there anyone here who's experiencing a marvelous dream right now? Let me think. Yes, this way. Good. Dude, Please what the hell? Please take us there. We're gonna skidoo into the dream? This lady refused to heed our warnings and fell asleep here a little earlier. Damn. All this commotion's making me wish I could experience this kind of dream, too. No way. Not on Paimon's watch. That... <laughs> 
All right, all right. I don't need to get so worked up. Sorry, I might have spoken a little out of turn just now. I just think that the gods really don't understand us sometimes. Bruh. <laughs> You're something else. Actually, I can really sympathize with everyone's feelings on this. Thank you! Finally! She's only asleep and hasn't started sleepwalking. It seems she hasn't sunk too deep into her dream yet. Do we also need to fall asleep if we want to go into her dream? Don't worry about that. I'm Lesser Lord Kusanali, after all. <laughs> Greater Lord Kusanali in time. Don't be nervous. Just close your eyes. Imagine yourselves as waves gradually rolling onto the beach. You slowly wash over the shore and sink into the sand. <laughs> Where am I? I can't see anything. It's all darkness. I'm in the abyss chat. No. <gasps> That was Lumine! Hi, Traveler. You look a little disoriented. <laughs> Wait, bro, what is this quest right now, dude? I just saw Lumine. No, it's nothing. Wait, no, 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 no. Aether's not gonna have one of these dreams, is he? Where he's longing to reunite with someone that he cares deeply about. Someone that might not actually be his twin. Cause she's from Tavat and he's not. No, it's nothing. It seems this whole dream situation is getting to me too. Really? Paimon didn't notice anything. Oh, fuck. Anyway, seems like we've made it into the dream. I thought we would arrive at some familiar scene, but we seem to have landed in a completely unfamiliar place. Theoretically, we should have gone straight into Debbie's dream. Things do seem to have gone a bit sideways here. Anyway, let's see if we can find any leads. Yeah, this dream looks cool. Yeah, so if you look up, it looks like we're underwater. The top part of this domain is like the watery surface. You can see like the ripples. That's a really cool effect. All right, let's move forward. I know some people in chat were saying, oh my gosh, is this dream drop distance? We're jumping into someone's dream. That's literally Kingdom Hearts dream drop distance. But another thing that happened in Kingdom Hearts dream drop distance was uh, the further in you go into someone's dream, the harder it is for you to come out. A door? Wonder where it could lead. Oh, well, it's not like we have any other way to go now. Let's go in and have a look. We're going deeper into the... <laughs> We're going deeper into the dream, and I'm just like, I hope we don't get stuck here. Oh, what the hell? We're back in uh the tavern. Hey, this place looks familiar. Isn't it Puspa Cafe? Yeah, yeah, the cafe. Paimon sees Debbie. She's right over there. Looks like we've come to the right place. Hmm. These alluring dreams often portray a scene from real life, which concurs with our previous findings. Okay. Really? But well, what about that space we were in just now? Maybe it was a kind of hub. The dreams may be connected. You can't mean this is another collective dream? Shit. Yes. Given that so many people have been experiencing these beautiful dreams, I would say it's very likely that they're interconnected. Okay. Compared to an interconnected dream, independent individual dreams would be much harder to manage and manipulate. Oh boy. Let's go talk with Debbie. All right. I, I'm really excited to see the There's revelation of this. Next to her. Are they dreaming too? If this space is exclusive to Debbie's dream, then the others beside her are most likely the people she cherishes. Anyway, we should confirm that first, just to be sure. How do we do that? Just leave it to me. Oh? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, we gotta check. I actually haven't been doing that. I completely forgot. But yeah, we're gonna be yoinking some people's thoughts. Except for this guy, because there's nothing going on up there. Oh, her. But I guess Debbie's the only one that matters. Oh, how could they be? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Huh? Hmm? She sounds a little hesitant. I've confirmed that this dream belongs only to Debbie. Okay. Because I'm unable to hear the thoughts of the other two people with her. Okay, I guess that's why everyone else is head empty. So, this is the power of the Dendro Archon? That's so cool. Uh, I'm gonna better watch your thoughts from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I don't often use my powers like this. It's rather impolite. That's busted. All right. I need to get myself ready. It won't be easy to break it to her. Oh my god. But there's no avoiding it now. The, the Great Dendro Archon! Uh, what brings you here? I I'm sorry to interrupt your celebration, but have you noticed that what's happening here doesn't quite match up with your memories? I... I don't quite understand. 
Great, Dendro Archon. What do you mean? I get it! The Dendro Archon is trying to say that it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that we're able to gather here! Hey, how about a cup of coffee for all of you? My treat. We just returned from a fruitful adventure. Memories? A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Think carefully. You of all people should know what really happened to them. Are you sure that meeting here and chatting the day away like this isn't just a product of your own wishful thinking? Uh oh. <sighs> yes. The reports from the Steambird were true. Ooh. The ship they were on struck a reef and sank. Damn. Steambird? Fontaine newspaper. And I never heard from Vasima and Gaspar again. Hey, come on now. What are you talking about, Debbie? This is trippy so these people are actually dead and she's got to tell them you're dead you're not real get out of my dream yeah trust your memories nothing you see here is real i get it now mm. this is a dream isn't it but since it's my dream it doesn't matter if this is real or not i enjoy the way things are here i no longer have to face the tragedies of real life <sighs> these friends mean the world to me Nobody else can understand me like they do. Mm. There's nothing wrong with continuing this dream, is there? Other than you just not living? I'm worried that if you were to continue dreaming like this, the lines between dreams and reality will gradually become too blurred for you. These dreams will always give you what you want, while reality remains full of pain and difficult situations. If you are not careful, you can get hurt. Don't worry. I still have control. I won't let it go that far. You say that. Are you sure? Hey, how about we put all this troublesome stuff aside and get back to our coffee and snacks, hmm? Whether it's just a dream or real life, you should be happy. You can't just brush off something like this. We don't even know how you people got here or where you even came from. Okay, Paimon, don't push it now. Sorry. Paimon didn't mean to upset anyone. No, it's all right. I understand that you're just trying to look out for me. It seems that for now, this place is still relatively harmless for you. But I wonder if there's any way to go deeper into the dream. Oh dear, I don't know if that's a good idea, Nahida. Now that you mention it, I once heard a strange voice tell me that there's an entrance here. A strange voice? I'm not interested in checking it out at the moment, but maybe I'll go in and have a look later. Uh... Okay. Thanks for your help. I don't like this chat. Just as I expected. We're only on the surface of this dream. Let's go. Dude, at Astra Abyssos, we're actually diving into the abyss of her dream. I I think I need a moment to calm down. Hey, what's with the sad face? Yeah, there's no need to worry about all that complicated stuff. It's all just a dream. Oh shit, there it is. Alright, blue scud do. We can too. <laughs> What do we got now? Oh, oh, we are, we're in it. What are we doing here again? Damn it, it's raining on our parade. Wait a second, we were just up there. No, down there? Uh, oh. did we go up or down? Are we upside down again? Don't panic, this is how dreams work. We've left Debbie's dream, but the dream is still continuing onward. Uh. I'm not sure where it'll lead us. Oh god, to the depths. This dream has the ability to create imaginary people, which is why people are so unwilling to wake up. If it weren't for what we just saw, Paima might still find that a bit hard to believe. So what awaits us further in the dream? I have a guess. If these dreams are connected, then there should be some sort of order to them. She said that she heard a voice, so I, I assume someone's behind this. The fact that Debbie was able to realize that she was dreaming means that she is not very deep in the dream yet. I wonder if this is Abyss now. They talked about Abyss earlier, and like I'm actually kind of shocked that the Archon Quest had nothing to do with the Abyss Order at all. And like, since the Fatui got their Gnosis and the Sages have been taken care of, that's the only other thing I can think of. But like, I just don't know how the Abyss Order would like put this together or how like how it would be orchestrated. But the space we're in has been turned upside down. Do you remember the characteristics of dreams that I mentioned earlier? Oh, right. Dreams are chaotic. Yeah. That's right. It's possible that we're heading deeper into this dream now. And the deeper we go, the closer we'll get to the essence of the dream. Right. So the answers might be waiting for us deeper in the dream. All right, we should hurry. Yes. And we should get ready for whatever we may encounter. Damn. 
it's, you know, this shit's popping off. This is getting heavy. I will say, though, I really, really like how the domains look, like this one in particular. I like the uniquely shaped domain, like the uniquely designed domains. These look really nice. Look at that. Look at that shit. That's beautiful. All right. Oh my God. It's the freaking tree of dreams. It's just not fully bloomed yet. The temple of wisdom. All right, here we go. Torn to oblivion. Oh my God. Yo, one fell swoop. Let's go. All right, let's go. It's good, dude. All right, I swear to... Ooh, I heard a chest. There it is. Okay. Oh, it actually opened. It, rains, it seems to disappear slowly. Yes, and it appears again. No. As as okay, I thought I got debated. It's less like a flower and more like a dendral slime that's trying to keep out of sight. <sighs> Nahida's analogies. <laughs> I love Nahida's analogies, all right? She's actually goaded. She's so smart. Yeah, there you go. Get wrecked. All right, let's go. Nahida's gonna do. We can too. Huh? Are we back up here again? Uh, wait. Wait. Uh, okay. Paimon's confused. Are we oh, here or there? now I have the stone. So I needed this yes, before. We, did. we just fell upwards. Yeah. That's not helping, Nahida. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something I don't know, Paimon. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh. Wait. Wait. Weren't we already here a little earlier? Whoa. Oh, my God. You guys remember during the Golden Apple Archipelago where they showed, like, the, the distorted, like, realms of, like, Kazuha's, like, trips with Tomo and it just showed, like, everything was, like, scattered and whatnot? Like, yeah, the different domains. Like, this looks really... This reminds me of that. This is probably Ilmon's dream. Why would he start dreaming again? Didn't we warn him? Well, it did not look like he was going to listen to us. Yes, but it seems that the danger isn't enough to stop him from longing for his wife. But fortunately, he already knows us from before, so hopefully we'll be able to wake him up. Or he'll be like, what are you doing in my dreams? You're trying to stop me. Oh, the whole family now. This is so sad. I love the music here, though. Oh, it's you. Incredible. I didn't know you would appear in my dream, too. And now the music's gone. Wait, so you know this is a dream? Yeah, he's like, yeah, I've accepted it. Of course. Such good things rarely happen to me in real life these days. Here, let me introduce everyone. This is Minar, my wife who I mentioned before. And this is our daughter, Hydar. Hello. It's a great honor to meet the Dendro Archon. Whoa, Dad. You know the Dendro Archon? That's amazing! <laughs> Nahida, this doesn't seem to add up with what we were expecting. Mm, you're right. Let me think <laughs> for a bit here. Ilmon, did you secretly go to this place again on your own? Oh, right. We didn't see him in a moment of dreams earlier. Yeah. Paimon thought he'd gone home. Sorry. I just had to make sure that Hydar could get a chance to see her mother. Wait, you dragged your daughter into this too? I had gotten pretty familiar with the hike, so I brought Hydar with me. I'm just glad we didn't meet any monsters along the way. So you also endangered her? Wait, what's happening? How is his daughter in the dream with him? Like, it's different for us because we're here with Nahida. But if that's true, this man's gone off the, bend the deep end. Unless he's dreaming of both of them? It must have been very hard for him. I regret not being able to fulfill my role as a wife and a mother. No, don't talk like that. Let's leave all that unhappy stuff behind for now. Even if we're in a dream, it's still a blessing that we've been able to reunite in this way. What should we do now? Should we tell him the truth? You can... You can let me break the news. I should be the one to do it. I'm sorry. But I should tell you that your dream did not create us. We are real people with our own consciousness. Like the last time we met, we are still investigating this dream, and we've already learned some things about it. So you mean there's something nefarious with this dream as well? Hmm? Ilmon, what's going on? Uh-oh. It seems the reunion of our family is destined to only be temporary. Huh? Is Mom leaving? Maybe, but in all likelihood... That is indeed how things will end. Oh, no, Mom, you can't leave! I'm afraid I don't quite understand what's going on. Don't worry, Hydar. Mom's not going anywhere. Please, don't cry. Minar doesn't understand any of this. I'm fully aware that this is a dream, so that's why I've never told her the truth, but never mind. It's not like I would know what to say. 
I mean, I don't get any of the complicated stuff, but regardless of whether this dream is good or bad, you're here to resolve it, right? Yes. Then please, let us enjoy this moment for just a while longer. Regardless of whatever caused this dream to come to pass, I feel extremely grateful to have had the chance to reunite with my family. But does this dream really have to disappear? I'm afraid so. I'm sorry. It's for your own good, sir. I mean, look at you. You came back to it after we told you not to. Okay, I see. Please, come this way. You can go even deeper into the dream by heading in this direction. Do we want to do that? I don't know if we want to do that. I have heard that the further down you go, the more pleasant the dreams become, and the more you want to stay. Oh god, that's for Aether. I guarantee you that's going to be Aether at the bottom. Aether's going to be like, oh, I found Lumine. This is perfect. I don't want to leave. The answer you're looking for may also be found there. Oh boy. Go ahead. Thank you for helping us, and I'm truly sorry. You're welcome. It's not like I have any say in the matter. I'm just an ordinary person, after all. Who am I to interfere with the work of a god? I'll be right behind you. I should at least let Minar and Hydar know what's going on here. Otherwise, my daughter might be mad at her mother after we wake up. Mm. We're not doing something bad, are we, Nahida? That depends on how you define good and bad. True. Is this too cruel for Hydar? How can I ever get her to come to terms with this? You go right on ahead. I'll catch up with you later. Cheer up, Dad. And Mommy, too. Thank you, Hydar. Mm. My baby. Ugh. Why you gotta do that, man? All right, I hope this guy actually does what he says he's gonna do, because I'm skadooing. I probably shouldn't, but anyways. Okay, we're back. It's the same place again. This place is almost like a flight of stairs that connects all the dreams together. Yeah, this is the hub. But they appear to be getting more and more aggressive. Holy shit. Regular stairs wouldn't try to attack us. Yo, Enkonomiya, is that you? Holy my, I haven't seen these guys in a, such a long time. All right, let's recap what we've learned so far. Something seems to be off about our theory. Ilmon is clearly aware that he's dreaming and he's enjoying it. Rather than dreaming on a deeper level, he almost seemed more awake. Hmm. I believe we're on the right track, but we just need another explanation. It's not that the dreams are getting deeper, it's the owner's attachment to the dreams that's getting stronger. Ah. But you would never mistake dreams for real life, right? <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> I wouldn't be fooled by something so trivial. Of course not. <laughs> Sometimes, Paimon almost wishes her dreams could be real, but it's just a quick thought. It's not long before Paimon's thinking about other things, like sticky honey roast. Listen, we're real beings living in the real world, and that's where our focus should be. This also explains the insubstantiality of our dreams. No matter what they may become, we don't really care. But if we decide to abandon reality and embrace our dreams, then our dreams will become far more substantial. Yeah, but just overwrite. Oh, wait! Paimon's starting to get it now! Your mind will begin to build the dream far more attentively, which in turn will make it feel more real. And then you won't be able to know that you're in a dream, and then you'll be like... That's like a scary situation. You know like how when you're dreaming, you know you're dreaming, and then it becomes a lucid dream? The reverse would be just as terrifying as if you woke up it's the real world, but you think you're dreaming still. Like, that's, like, pretty terrifying. Do you remember how the Akasha can turn dreams into Nyana energy? Yeah. Constructing a realistic dream consumes a similar energy. Which means there's other dreams out there that's responsible for this one. Does that mean there's a host of these dreams here, like Milu, during the Subzeros Festival? I was thinking that with the first girl. I was like, uh, maybe this is her hope. Maybe she's the host of this dream. But now that they're all connected, it might not be. If we wake that person up, this collective dream will end, right? Plot twist. Aether's been sleeping this whole time. Mm-hmm. Most likely. But the collective dream in Sumeru City was created by the Akasha. And now the Akasha has been turned off. This has nothing to do with the Aranara. And humans are not capable of creating a collective dream. <gasps> which means... The host has something to do with the Akasha. Huh? Oh my god. So, did someone manage to restart the Akasha? No way. How? They don't have a Gnosis to power it. Mm, that's impossible. 
But they are probably a scholar of the Academia who had a close connection with the Akasha. Okay. Even so, how did they manage to do it? And how did they choose the host? Let's keep moving. Yeah, we haven't gotten to the end yet. Once we know their motive, all the questions will resolve themselves. Bro, I'm at the edge of my seat. I just want to know what is causing this and why. I want some answers, damn it. Hello, Bethysmal Vishap. It's been a hot minute. Make yourself at home. Shine down. And there you go. All right, Luska, do. We can too. Oh, hello, gentlemen. Now you shall perish. Ah, oh, I almost got all of them. That would have been clean if I had gotten them all at once. All right, let's grab this. Oh, and then we're skadooing back. Ah, we're getting complex with it. I like that. All the water that used to be here has turned into rain. Then let's get through here before the water level rises. I like how this is like a constant, like, like flip-flop. Oh, God, I need... Okay, there we go. The destination is right ahead. Nice, good shit. Wow. Oh. Wait, are we back? Whoa. Looks like a mashup of well, Sumeru. It's just new to Paimon in this dream. This should be the final destination. Huh? Okay. Really? Yeah. These are just ordinary city streets. Not necessarily. I have powers related to dreams, so it's usually easy for me to tell who's dreaming and who's created by dreams. I guess only those who have thoroughly accepted this dream will be able to come here. There are so many people here. How can we hmm. find the host? Don't worry. I have a way. Yo, imagine it's that girl's teacher. Denise is always so calm. I wish I were the same. <laughs> okay. He's just in an ordinary dream, so it shouldn't be him. I want to talk <laughs> to him. That's a bit noisy today, isn't it? Huh? You think so? I don't feel anything out of the what ordinary. What is this camera angle, Hoyoverse? Maybe you're right. It's always been quite peaceful here. Shadia has such good taste. I can never go wrong with her opinion. Okay. No, it doesn't seem to be her. What should I buy? Hey, tell me what you think, Shadia. How about this? I think it would really suit you. Let me have a look. Oh, it looks great. Uh, what are they doing here? Again? Nani? Everyone hold it. Sometimes I wish Rakesh could be more assertive, but I guess I'm also happy enough with the way things are. It's not going to rain soon, is it? Then maybe we should head home. I don't want to get rained on. <laughs> yeah, let's wait for the weather to get better before we head back out again. It's not like we're in a rush or anything. Okay, these two look like acade academics. So I'm gonna... Bro, what is he doing here? Who doesn't want a dream to last forever? All right, this guy really wanted to come... He's just entered the dream recently. It's definitely not him. Okay, he's just like, yo, let's However... just dive deeper. However, who does... Hold on. You know, I've heard that plants grow better if you play music for them. And on that note, it's been a while since I last heard you play. Sorry, I've been a little busy these last couple days. This is so stressful. Oh, the Dendro Archon. Oh! What a pleasant surprise. Oh, he doesn't seem surprised at all, actually. Hmm? Oh, welcome, great Dendro Archon. And your companions, too. I'm Amira. I run the flower shop here. And this is my husband, Moses. Yeah, he's wearing a sage robe. Yes, how may we help you? You already know all about me. There's no need for all the pleasantries. <laughs> Yo, Nahida's like, oh, let's skip the chit-chat. Perhaps I should call you the dream's owner. Yeah. Look at this man. Look at the smile on this guy's face. He's like, oh, so you finally figured it out. I don't know. This freaking <laughs> this slow pan zoom into his face is a little unsettling. <laughs> As expected of the Dendro Archon. I'm sorry, Amira. Hmm. It seems my research has attracted the Dendro Archon's attention. Why don't you go back to the flower shop? I'll come help you a little later. Okay, of course, dear. I'll see you later. Oh, boy. Okay, he was probably really upset when we shut down the Akasha. That I was too naive to think I could deceive the Dendro Archon in person like this. I like the voice acting. To avoid looking like too much of a fool, allow me to ask the first question. How well would you say you understand this dream? This dream was built by the Akasha, and it has the power to create imaginary people who no longer exist in the real world. As for you... You found a unique way to become the owner of this dream, going so far as to have even given up the ability to wake up again. Wow. Given up? 
The ability to wake up? So he basically, like, hard committed to this dream. <laughs> Impressive. You truly are the embodiment of wisdom. Is he basically trying to do that with everyone else? Have them all just, like, hard commit to this dream? Please, tell me how you were able to arrive at such a conclusion. In return, I'll answer the question you're most curious about. It's simple. Apart from you, this space only consists of real people who are dreaming and imaginary people who are created here. Although you are here and appear no different from the others, I can't sense your dream. How can I wake up a person who's already awake? Fascinating. Since you're the fully awake owner of this dream, it can never collapse from you waking up. Ah, I see. Theoretically, this should also give you absolute control over this place. I have to admit, it really doesn't get much better than that. But even knowing all of that, one question remains. Yeah. How did you do it? How? Is it the answer right in front of you, great Dendro Archon? It's because I've dedicated my entire reality to this dream. I uploaded my entire consciousness into the Akasha when it was still running. <laughs> my dude. This man was like, fuck reality. Your entire consciousness, that's insane. Actually, this all started because of an accident. My original goal was not about the Akasha or a collective dream. No, you were motivated above all to create a hyper-realistic person. Mm. The desire to reconnect with a real loved one is the one shared sentiment between all our dreamers. Yeah. That's right. However, human models are too complicated. Only the Akasha has a Nyana energy supply powerful enough for me to generate and sustain my models. The Akasha is truly magnificent. If I siphoned a minuscule amount of its energy, nobody would even notice. And even this minuscule amount of energy was already more than enough for my purposes. Even using just crude methods, I was still able to train a fairly realistic person. I named my first work oh, Amira. That girl. She and I entered the academia on the same day, starting with admission procedures. We bumped into each other six times on just that first day. Damn. And because of that one day, we eventually went on to fall in love. We studied, conducted research, and made breakthroughs together. And then she probably died or something. Our rhythm was always in step. I felt like we were two separate bodies that shared the same heart. However, uh, Elazar later took her from me. Uh, King Deshrick claims another. <laughs> Unfortunate. Well, I know he didn't do it, but, you know, meddling in that forbidden knowledge costs people. So you're gathering others like you. Yes. I need more training samples to perfect Amira's personality. I found their details in the Akasha's database. Using the pretext of testing for mental health disorders, uh. I implanted signaling devices in their bodies. This way I could connect them to a network, and Amira could feel their yearning. Oh. Little by little, they helped her to grow and develop a warm, human personality. I see. These are all just test subjects to funnel into creating, like, the perfect human, like his perfect wife or girlfriend or whatever. To improve my efficiency and allow myself to focus on nothing but my research, I uploaded my consciousness as well and became a part of the network. Jesus. So, technically speaking, it's not that you won't wake up, it's that you can't you wake can't. up. Yes, because the Akasha was suddenly turned off, I lost all of my Nyana energy. Oh my god. I became imprisoned in the very network I had constructed. <gasps> Holy shit, that's morbid. At first, I panicked. But, after coming to grips with the situation, Sheesh. I realized that I could restart this world as long as I could find a replacement source of Nyana energy. That means everyone in the network is providing you with Nyana energy! So, he's harvesting their dream energy, kind of like how the Akasha initially did. That's all there really is to it. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I'm just saving them as well as myself. I provide a beautiful dream, and in return, I harvest their Nyana energy as fuel for the dream. I see. Yeah, but won't that, like, kill them? They can wake up any time they wish. People need to sleep anyway. So why not have some beautiful dreams while they rest? I don't think you can rest if you're getting harvested. I agree. This is the home we spent a great deal of effort on to build for ourselves. Yeah, they're essentially batteries and data so a data source for his, uh, for his perfect human. Yeah, she's right. We're staying here of our own free will. I don't understand this at all, but I just want to spend some more time with my family. You're not real! I don't want them to be sad. You're literally not real, ma'am. I'm sorry. Thank you, dear. Great Dendro Archon, 
I hope you can understand. This man's manipulating these emotionally vulnerable people. You don't need to gather around here. It's all right. The great Dendro Archon is nothing if not kind and considerate towards her people. She won't interfere with what we're doing here. Don't speak for her. Uh-oh. Now he's playing dirty. He's using the imaginary people he created to influence the real people. He's turned the real dreamers against us. It seems like I won't need you to answer my last question. <laughs> You're willing to tell me all your secrets because you have nothing to fear. If you use real people as your weapon and turn them against their Archon, mm. then there's nothing the Archon can do. That's crazy, bro. It's history repeating itself. This is Leakasha all over again. They just want to be with the people they cherish. I don't think there's anything wrong with me providing them with that opportunity. They don't wish to eternally part with their spouses and friends. What's so wrong about that? If you understood humans a little better, or had also experienced firsthand the absolute devastation of loss, then perhaps you wouldn't be so cold towards us. Uh, Greater Lord Ruka Devada would like to have a word with you. She's not cold at all. You don't know the first thing about her. If you had used your talents and determination for a just cause, you could have become a sage of the new generation. Yeah, the second sage. I'm the first one. All right, I'm the only one that matters. Unfortunately, you've committed one of the six cardinal sins of the academia by attempting the forbidden and fearing none. You equated people's feelings with cold six? mana energy. Sins? And deprive them of the pain that they have to face. Interesting. Attempting the forbidden and fearing none. You lured them into these dreams and even now remain completely unaware of how evil all of this truly is. Yeah, that's the thing. He's not realizing that like these people were uninfluenced by him until he needed them. So he gave them a bargain and they're all like emotionally vulnerable. Like, come on, dude. Pain. Luring. Those kinds of things haven't existed here from the moment this world was created. She's right here. This is Ilman's child, Haidar. Huh? My daughter? Uh-oh. What's wrong with her? This dream relies on a set network, which means that only those with devices planted in their bodies can enter this world. Okay. Carefully think back and retrace your steps. I secretly went back to the mountainside with Haidar. Minar was already there waiting for me, and Hydar was able to see her mother. Ah, uh, you mean she isn't actually the real Hydar? I said that earlier. I don't know what happened to her, but I don't know if this is the real one either. No, because unlike you, she can't enter this dream. The moment you came into this dream, it created a Hydar to realize your wish of reuniting with your family. Ah, uh, so it manifested. Yeah, I guess I couldn't read her thoughts either. Like, I can only read his thoughts at earlier. Because, like, he knows that there's a real version of her in the real world. So, like, if he knows that there's a real one in the real world, but also a fake version here, that breaks the freaking whole immersion for him. So, tell me, where's the real Hydar? <laughs> She's still out there on the mountainside. Exactly. That's right. And she must have been terrified to see her father not in his right mind. Not to mention the monsters in that area. The situation is very dangerous. If Hydar's still out there, then I gotta get the hell out of here. What are you talking about, Dad? I don't understand. Manipulation! I must wake up right now. I can't leave her there alone. Oh. Uh, damn. <sighs> It seems the others have also remembered something. People try to avoid pain and stay in their perceived bubbles of safety out of an instinct to protect themselves. This is human nature, but it is also one of their weaknesses. True. However, why are there still so many people striving to move forward even when they know the path ahead is dangerous and painful? It's because people don't only live for themselves. Exactly. Yo, this is a great quest. Holy moly. Dude, Nahida has grown so wise since we've met her. They have families, loved ones, friends, and communities. They have dreams that they are still trying to achieve. Yeah. I want to I wanna say something real quick. I just want to, like, kind of open up and talk about something that I think about a lot. This is just something that I think about that I'm just going to relate to you guys. I think about dying a lot. Not, like, in a self-harming way. I just mean, like, I think of the concept of death a lot. Probably more than I should. And um, I think it was like last week or something. I thought to myself, I'm afraid of dying now because I haven't done everything that I want to do. And I hope that by the time I'm like an old man, like, you know, 70, 80, 90, 100 years old, that by that point, 
I have a better relationship with the concept of death, having lived a full life. How I feel right now is just like, there's so much stuff I haven't done yet. There's so much things I want to do. There's so many people in my life that I still have to like build deeper connections with and bond more with. And so many things in my life that I really want to experience. I think that's where the fear of death comes from with me is just like, there's still things that I haven't experienced, which is why I think also the concept of living forever would also be torturous because if you've experienced everything, I feel like that makes life dull as well. I don't know. It's two sides of the same coin, life and death. So I resonate so much with what she's saying right here. Cause I think about that a lot. Like things are dangerous. Things are hard, but I can't fear my life of like my well being and stuff. Cause there's things that I have to do. But in this dream, you showed them only the most comfortable and soothing things. This entire world has been built on the foundation of buried and unseen pain. It's all just a well-devised scam. Yo. <laughs> it seems like I've stayed in the dream for too long. Mm. All right, later. I still have so many things I haven't done. Oh, and with all of his test subjects leaving, what does that mean for his perfect person? <laughs> I thought gods didn't understand humans. That would have explained why they created such a flawed world where countless tragedies took place. I didn't expect you to arrive at the answer through sheer power of observation. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, it means nothing now. Uh-oh, does he control this place? If you wanted to spend a little time in the waking world, go right ahead. In any case, I wanted to spend some time alone with Amira. As long as this dream continues to exist, you'll come back. Humans aren't as strong as you think. And even if you're a god, they won't always listen to you. It's time to purge all the extraneous data and noise. Dude, this guy's voice is insane. <laughs> Hold up. Whoa! Monsters! No! How dare you All attack you. me? Please get out of here and find somewhere safe. I am the master of this dream. I can create endless waves of monsters with the snap of a finger. All right, and you know what? Don't worry. I can Don't kill them all in two seconds. Amira doesn't like to see others in pain. If you know what's good for you, Direct now. You know what I'm wondering? If he has to create these like dream monsters, I wonder if that takes up the energy of the of the dream, which will make it harder for him to maintain it over time, especially if the people leave and don't come back. So this might be backfiring on him, or it could. Oh shit! <laughs> you haven't won just yet. This dream is mine. If I go into hiding here, not even an Archon can ever find me. And as long as people yearn for happiness, they will return here and rebuild this paradise! I love the performance. <sighs> Whoa! Stop! Holy shit. <laughs> what is that? The stream is spiraling out of control and it's collapsing now. <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck just happened to them? <laughs> oh no. Amira. Amira. Amira! <laughs> Wait, how are they? Are these people? <laughs> Amira, are you alright? I, I don't feel well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my no, no, god. No. Please, no! <gasps> okay, so this is like, this has to be like some crazy, like, yeah, this is like Conria moment right here. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. Get away from there. Don't ruin my flowers. This is so trippy. What should I do? Where did it go? <gasps> All the things. He doesn't want you anymore. No, I'm so sorry. Dude, this is so fucking crazy. This reminds me of corrupt data. These people are like corrupted. Don't All right, hold on. <laughs> this one's over here. The, the freaking one of the mobs were stuck. Rampant Yana Energy Aggregate. Shut up! Oh my God. Just decide for yourself. Ooh, I like the quotes though. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Y'all ain't real. Pause map. Okay, okay, thank God. All right, the map's paused. Jesus, I can't, like, get a thought out. Yeah, they were literally... They were dream eaters, and they turned into nightmares. Actually, Kingdom Hearts dream drop distance. But yeah, this is actually pretty insane, because it's almost like the, the dream people became aware that they're not real. And uh, I don't know if that, like, knowledge just, like, 
triggered something that just caused them to warp out of control. I wonder if this is similar to like what happens when a person becomes like Stop us. affected. Whoa, what the hell? Oh my God, we're fighting all of them. Do this. Now you shall perish. Ba Am I? I'm not Amira. I'm redacted. What happened just now? He's not very proficient in using the Akasha's technology, and he spent a lot of Nyana energy creating monsters. I was thinking that... Now the system is out of control. All the people he created also turned into monsters, including Amira. It's terrible, even for a dream. It's a nightmare. Even Paimon's freaked out. Paimon can't imagine what they're that going through. That was so fucking creepy. Yeah, it's like a horrible nightmare. The good news is that the chaos seems to have subsided. Now we only need to wake up the people here and let them return to their real lives. I guarantee you the people that just witnessed all this shit don't want to come back. Amira, my dear Amira, they're all gone. It was just a big dream after all. I couldn't change my fate and my knowledge turned out to be useless. What a cruel world. Do you still think this is our fault? I don't care about that anymore. The Nyana energy used to sustain this dream has all been transformed into monsters. Mm. This dream will soon collapse in my consciousness along with it. Yeah, that too. This guy, like, is all in, so if this place goes, so does he. Let me disappear with Amira. I'd rather turn into dust than to ever wake up again. It seems that everything that's happened is too much for him. He's lost all hope. I want to say that he's only getting what he deserves, but I can't help but feel sorry for him. Agreed. I think seeing Amira turn into a monster was punishment enough for him. After comprehending the hollowness of the Unreal, it's time to revisit the meaning of existence. Existence? True. <laughs> I'm different from the others. I've long given up everything outside of my consciousness. Using my knowledge of the Akasha, I have a way to extract your consciousness from here Whoa! and put it inside a knowledge capsule. <laughs> Please explain to me how, like, <laughs> this is literally like, hey, I'm going to put your memory on this thumb drive real quick. The academia has probably kept your body, so you should be able to wake up soon. What a benevolent fucking god. After all of this shit, she's still like, oh, no, we, you're, I, I can still save you. No need. Just let me disappear. Reality means nothing to me now. This isn't compassion. I won't let you escape your punishment by simply disappearing. Okay, never mind. I appreciate that too. As for your life after that, it will be up to you how you want to exist. All right, Traveler and Paimon, we should go back. Yo, Nahida, I love her. We can finally wrap up this whole thing. Sheesh. Hmm. You need to stop, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is a three-star debate club. <laughs> please tell me. Please tell me. Please say something. What's please, wrong, please, 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 please. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh, oh, nothing. Uh, let's tell the people here to gather at a moment of dreams after they wake up. Walk out the door, you see someone that you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Ah! I just want to know what Dottori told her, please. Aether, you better not say a fucking thing about Ruka Devada. I know he was trying to at the start of the of the story, but yeah. Also, what the hell was that with the freaking teasing? And I hate how they're like drip feeding Lumine. They showed a vision of her in the Perilous Trail. They showed a flashback moment of her or a time version moment of her in the, the Archon quest with Dainsleaf. And then they show like a flash moment of her as Traveler was like, opening his eyes in this one. I'm like, come on, bro. Also, this, what is this load screen? Jesus Christ. <laughs> we good? Oh, great. You're awake. Everybody has started to wake up and we've heard similar reports from around the city as well. Nice. From the looks of it, you were able to successfully resolve the issue. Yes, though it took us a good deal of effort. There will be many people gathering here shortly, so please do your best to maintain order. I need to go to the academia with them now, but we'll be back soon. We gotta put someone's brain on a thumb drive real quick. Are we going to ask about that scholar? Yes, 
but it may take some time for him to wake up after his consciousness returns to his body. We can leave the rest to the Matra. I felt a violent tremor somewhere deep within my dream, and then I woke up. I guess we'll all wake up from our dreams sooner or later. The Traveler and the Dendro Archon must have done something deep inside the dream. Oh yeah, we popped off, ma'am. I'm really glad I reached out to you earlier. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to handle this situation on our own. You did a great job as well! Finally, it's over. It all went perfectly, but it was way too tiring. <laughs> oh, they all started waking up around the same time. That's pretty amazing. That's our Dendro Archon. I'm very impressed. Good. It's about time you put some respect on her name. This man was talking all that shit earlier. Delivered the knowledge capsule containing Mosesi's consciousness to the academia. Oh, it's the great Dendro Archon. How can I help you? I would like to check the registration records of a Kasharawar scholar. He should be in an unconscious state right now. Okay. Just a moment. Sorry to keep you waiting, Dendro Archon. We have confirmed that there's a scholar named Benuni who's been unconscious for a while. Oh, jeez. The cause was improper operation of the Akasha. He hasn't regained consciousness yet. Okay. And is still receiving treatment at Bimarstan. Isn't his name Moses? I guess he didn't mm. want to be recognized or bothered by anyone. Interesting. Please, give the knowledge stored in this to the Matra and ask them to import it into Benuni's brain. <laughs> That sentence, man. Like, that's crazy. That's wild. Understood. But for safety reasons, I need to know why. It's simple. This contains his consciousness. It's long been trapped inside of a dream. He's committed an act that affected the safety of Sumeru. After he wakes up, I'll inform the General Mahamatra of all the details. Damn, Sino's like, a day's job is never done. I see. I'll take care of this right away. Mm -hmm. No problem. Hmm. All right. Everyone should have gathered at a moment of dreams by now. Let's head back. I've got to be careful not to slip up with my work, especially in front of someone as important as the Dendro Archon. Damn. I'll take care of it as soon as possible. I wonder what she's going to say. Hello, all of you who have just woken up. I'm sorry for interrupting your beautiful dreams. I may have acted a little cold when handling things in the dream. I sincerely apologize for that. Dreams have amazing power. They inspire us to remain resolute in the face of adversity and help those with aspirations achieve their desires. I love how they use this track when it comes to like sentimental moments. This is definitely like a, this is like a super iconic song. But dreams also have the potential to exploit people, confuse the senses, and distort the truth. Mm. Unfortunately, you are all chosen as prey for an elaborate scheme. As I've said before, I am still learning and cannot fully empathize with the pain of all the loss you've experienced. But just take a good look around you, and you'll see many other people who have had similar experiences. You should be proud that you've been able to gather here ah. and look toward the future together. The path of life is long, and it's hard for us to see the destination. This leads us to ask a lot of difficult questions. Damn, what a speech. She's grown so much. What's the meaning of life? <laughs> What's the purpose of my existence? Jesus. Why do I keep experiencing pain and loss? <sighs> of course, the most comfortable choice is to stop progressing, give up thinking, and just keep repeating whatever you're already familiar with. Mm -hmm. Whenever you have such thoughts, just look at the people and things around you. Some people work hard all day so that their families can have a hot meal on the table at night. Some people travel all over the world in order to create art that resonates with all of Tavat. Oh yeah. Some venture in search of the world's secrets to prevent rapidly approaching, yet still unknown, world-shattering catastrophes. <laughs> Damn, what a, what a, what a, what a way to live, am I right? That escalated quickly. Life is not just about yourself. Each and every one of your actions shapes you and the world around you. <sighs> Look, friends and family will remember what you've done. And even some people you've never met may benefit from your actions. Damn, this is some real fucking life advice right here. Therefore, many people will strive forward to forge new paths, even if they have to endure great pain to do so. Once you begin your journey on that same difficult yet rewarding path, you'll come to know the answers to those big existential questions. Mm -hmm. Yet they will no longer feel as life-defining as they did before. 
But if you were to believe that life is nothing but an empty, ephemeral dream, then that's also the only thing it'll ever become. How does the saying goes? Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. You're free to choose how you want to live your lives. But as your Archon, I should first make this information known to everyone. Hell yeah! In the end, it's up to you whether you want to embrace a beautiful dream at the cost of your real life. God damn. Couldn't have said it better myself. Speak with us alone. It seems like she went to the plaza in front of the academia. Wow, a lot of people are here too. All this time, I never realized this is what Professor Aisha wanted. How did I not see it earlier? I'm getting ready to go on an adventure. Yeah, she's and like I'm dressed up in her adventurous garb. That's so cool. I shouldn't just sit here waiting for her to come back. Professor Aisha was so determined to explore those secrets. <laughs> so. I should go take a look, too. Ah, uh, that's dangerous out there. Be careful. Thank you. May we meet again in the future. I hope we see her again. That'd be so cool. I should buy her a drink later. Yo! NASA shooting his shot? What the hell? Hold up. Should we celebrate and go eat something special? Sheesh, my man. I discovered that Nasser and I get along pretty well. We both have pretty straightforward personalities. It also turns out we both disagreed with a Dendro Archon. One in real life and one in the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hey, I guess you guys were made for each other. So dizzy. I think I'm about to lose my lunch. I'm still a little dizzy from sleeping so long. Just give me a moment here. Oh, these two were the ones in the dream that were picking out clothes. I'm so happy I finally found a place to stay. I guess it'll take some time for me to get used to my new life. But that's fine with me. Since we were neighbors in the dream, how about we rent a place together? Yo, hello? Yo, people are just like getting together after that. Like some freaking life-changing effects are happening. Sounds good. I can't afford a house on my own anyway, but I'm sure life will get better. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Dad is the best. Aww. I'm so lucky Hydar wasn't hurt. Thank you for rescuing me. I'm really sorry. Luckily, Hydar wasn't injured because of my stupid mistake. Dad said you're amazing. Mm. You're real heroes. Thank you. All's well that ends well, chat. All right, Nahida. You're amazing, Nahida. Even Paimon was nearly won over by that scholar in that dream. Well, he's very good at manipulating the weaknesses of human nature, but perhaps he himself had fallen prisoner to them long ago. Hell yeah. That dream was incredibly beautiful and enticing. Ordinary people couldn't see through it and easily lost themselves within it. But as long as you can still wake up, you can still move forward with your life. That's what I'm saying. You've also learned a lot, Nahida. She's learned a lot about people. Huh? What makes you say that? You can really empathize with others now. Right! You said that you didn't understand human feelings, but we saw how considerate you were with all these people. Your speech just now really connected with everyone. You did a good job. Thank you. I've heard a lot of sad stories along this journey, Aww. and several of them have touched my heart. You can't say that the victims of the dream really did anything wrong, and what they wanted was also not unreasonable. Yeah. That's why I could understand them when they tried to resist us and protect the dream. That is true. But all of my understanding and stirred feelings probably can't even account for even 1% of the pain they've experienced. I don't think this 1% can be seen as an example of what you call empathy. You're too hard on yourself, that's for sure. <laughs> Nobody is capable of having absolute empathy. You should be a little more confident in yourself. <laughs> all right. I suppose going out into the world will help my confidence grow. I've learned that emotions are nothing like knowledge, and that's why it's hard for me to put them into words sometimes. True. Benuni, or Mercedes, said that I had never personally felt the pain of loss. Nah. But I have a vague feeling that this isn't true. Yeah, Greater Lord Ruka Devada. The moment I entered the dream, I felt like I was wrapped in a blanket of warm feelings. It was so warm uh. that it felt like I had returned to the start of my life. And I didn't want to wake up anymore. Aww. Oh, so that was Ruka Nevada. But when I opened my eyes, the feeling was gone without a trace. If I have to make an analogy for it, I would say I can no longer see words on a piece of paper after they have been erased. 
but I can still see the slight indentations of where the words had been written. Yeah, so she can't see what Ruka Nevada said, but she knows that there were once words there. But now that I've experienced this dream, I think I can say with confidence that I won't dwell too much on the meaning of that warmth. Wow, that's great. It's enough that I can tell I was once supported by that warmth. Ah! And its existence has allowed me to get to where I am today. Yeah, shout out to Greater Lord Ruka Nevada, man. She will be missed. If I dwell too much on its exact nature, I would be putting the cart before the horse. I gave a speech to inspire my people. So if I were to fail to live up to those words myself, then that would be too embarrassing. <laughs> Damn. So, uh, is what Nahida technically saying? Maybe we shouldn't dwell too much on Lumine and just instead enjoy the journey that we're on? Because by the end of the game, we might not leave with Lumine. It might be a completely different conclusion altogether than what we think is going to happen between them two. Greater Lord Ruka Nevada has already shaped Nahida through her actions. Even if she had been forgotten, Nahida's mind and willpower are the proof that she once existed. Instead of telling her the truth, I should respect their decisions. Thank you. Hey, what's with that serious look? You keep looking like there's something you want to say. <laughs> is there anything you want to tell me? Nah, it's not important. <laughs> okay. All right. Since we just woke up, let's stretch a little bit. Thank God. A catastrophe avoided. A new day is about to begin. Hell yeah. Ah, what a beautiful shot. There it is. Lingering warmth. The lingering warmth of greater Lord Ruka Devada. It all makes sense, chat. This is a really, really cool story quest. Nahida feels so in tune with humans, it's kind of crazy. She even said at the beginning, she felt like she wasn't able to really understand people. And in just a short period of time, I already feel like she knows and empathizes more with people than people do with people. You know what I mean? It's kind of crazy. Yeah, she's grown so much. She's evolved so much. I hope we get a part two story quest with her, kind of like how Zhongli has a part two, Raiden Shogun has a part two. For people who are wondering why Venti doesn't have a part two, it's because Venti's the most important character in the game among the Archons, and he'll probably have a part two once we make it to the end of the game, when we go to Celestia or some shit. I feel like his significance is so important that they're saving his for last. I think we'll get a part two Nahida Hopefully by the end of Sumeru, like before Fontaine comes out, that'd be nice. But yeah, this was incredible. And it's still not over because we're getting an Archon interlude chapter with her and how she's empathizing and understanding and giving Scaramouche a second chance, right? The Wanderer a second chance. So she's going to be featured in that as well, which is going to go above and beyond, probably develop her better as a, more as a character and everything else in between. But uh, yeah, this was great. Really, really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did as well. Hopefully this is well received on YouTube for those of you who are tuning in and checking it out. Next thing we're going to be jumping into i think i'm going to do it tomorrow we're going to be checking out character lore we're going to be going through sino nilu candace nahida and layla i want to get those all kind of out of the way and wrapped up before scaramouche and farazan come out so uh, we're going to be reading a bunch of lore in the next one so hopefully you guys are excited for it